Hey guys, Clover here. Today seems that the community is outraged with Raid and uh, Plyum, basically. It, today feels like a Monday for sure for Plyum. And I'll explain why. First things first, we had a big issue with the servers today. Uh, the servers were dropping wet on Monday. There was the Tag Arena reset, right? And lots of players did not get to the next ranking of the, the, um, the Tag Arena. I can't remember where I was in the rankings, but I... I think I dropped actually from my rankings, but I know some people said that there were hundreds of points into the green and they didn't even get to the next stage. There were players that actually lost points in their tournaments, the spider tournament that was some uh, days ago. I think it finished a couple, couple of hours ago. I'm not sure when exactly it finished, but players were complaining about points missed in actual sets. Uh, getting lost those relentless sets if you farm for those then you're at a very good position you know in the tournament to get them especially the six stars the relentless are fantastic for the hydra and players were reporting that they lost the actual sets because they lost the points and Plarium did say on their response we cannot give back the points that were lost during this event so what they did is that they gave some compensation back to us it was for refreshes for tag arena which basically means nothing especially when you give it to everyone because everyone will fight using those um it would be good to have these for the next cvc so if this wasn't lasting for six days they also gave two clan boss keys because some players also mentioned that they lost their clan boss rewards we did have the clan boss down for a couple of hours today but some mentioned that they lost the rewards as well and then we had five energy potions as compensation. Ideally, the best compensation would have been like something like sacred shards, right? They didn't do that. They, I think they never done a sacred shard as compensation before. And I don't think this would have been the chance uh, for them to actually do this. Let me show you the actual, actual response from Plarium just so that everybody can see it. If you don't have Discord, then uh, I'll just read it out to you. This Monday, there was a breakdown in the distribution system. Some players ended up in the wrong leagues, but in the future, the tier distribution algorithms should work correctly. I don't even know how this can break. Uh, due to the arena misplacement, today's technical issues on the server, all users who logged into the game from the 3rd or 4th of October will be getting the following rewards. We also got 150 multi battles. That's what I've mentioned. And... <laughs> Not only that, everybody was in a kind of bad mood. We had the first event of the Fusion pop-up. We did have the Fusion calendar. I didn't make a specific video on this because I think this is... Um, well, the champion is not bad in itself. It shouldn't be maybe a legendary in terms of the alternatives, but it really depends on how you think of the future. Me, myself, I'll only be doing the events probably to get the, the rewards for soul stones, those parts of the rewards, and I'll think about it if I'll get the legendary. It's kind of it's kind of bad. This gave another reason for players to get angry, and I'll, I'll show you guys right now. They went on to the events. First thing, once this appeared, the red dot, you say, okay, let's see how this fusion is gonna turn out. Boom, players, go scrolling down and they see 9,350 points for champion training to get one of the rares. So 1 16th of the rares, which I want to say this used to be way behind, it used to be at the 5,000 mark and we would have epics at the higher mark. But it seems that Plyam thinks that uh, it was too easy for us. So now they're giving us five days for this event to actually get this rare. And this has made people even angrier because this is a classic fusion. You need a ton of potions. You need a ton of things to get this done. And I even went ahead and posted this on my channel. This small screenshot of what the requirements are to get those champions leveled up, right? Th those champions to get them to level 40 and then ascend I send them and then also get them to 50. I put in the resources, the potions that are needed, and also the gems and the estimated just energy. So 8,500 energy. And my comment section here already gone crazy for just two hours that I posted this. Um, they did, some of them did say, um, I love seeing any reasons for skipping these fusions all started out. Thanks, CV. I better spend all the energy to fully level up masteries for four champions, which is true. If it's something, if, if you need to develop your account, this is definitely something you should be doing. Uh, 
<laughs> if many of us pass this fusion, it might be a message to Platinum. A big if though, they never listen. That is true. The vocal minority is what I consider the YouTube people here or the Reddit people even. I don't think it represents the whole amount of the player base. Let's say we have 100,000 active players worldwide, which might be even too much. Um, I, I still don't think everybody has YouTube or everybody follows uh, YouTubers such as me. They usually follow the bigger ones like Ash or Hell Hades. And... <laughs> And then somebody said, and that's a no for me, easy pass. So players had more than one reasons to, to be angry today. And I kind of follow uh, both of, of it. Should the conversations be higher? Of course. Um, I don't think that five energy potions justify just losing out a week of, of progression for arenas, especially if you dropped back to silver. You're going to miss out on the rewards for the accessories here in the gold tier if you were in gold and you dropped into silver because of an error you basically um, lose a week's worth of accessories which is something to consider um, you also lose tons of uh, gold bars if it's something that you're doing every single day you're trying to get all the rewards like the the sacred charm which is something free to play players consider as a good reward for uh, their time investment into 3v3 and then we have the fusion which is people don't need another nuclear champion and they don't think a classical fusion is considered as a proper, um, you know, a, a proper one. It, it should have been a classical fusion like this one for this champion right here. It, it might have been easier than people would have um, done this a little bit, would have reacted to this a little bit different. So uh, th these are my thoughts, guys, on this. <laughs> I don't know what else is going to pop up, but it's already the first day of the fusion. It's just a Tuesday, but I bet Plarium is, is, feeling, is feeling tense with all the reaction from the community today. Another sure, thing yeah. that players have mentioned that they realized now with all these events that now include the Immortal Soul Stones and the Immortal Coins and the Elder Coins, whatever those are called, the better ones, the silver ones, um, the, the community has actually realized that now we lose a ton of rewards from unique events such as the epic only tournament that is going on right now for the fire night we used to have a void shard right here which had a big cost to players a void shard could have been the one that gives them a nice epic or even a legendary you know and then usually here we would have had some other big rewards such as gems or um, a good amount of energy if i remember correctly and this was mentioned in this thread here and ready Reddit that people realize now we are actually losing out those epic books. We're losing out all those resources that as free to play players or mid spenders, even we could pursue them in order to upgrade our account with the champions that we had already. And what I would have preferred from Plarium from introducing another currency into the game, which in the reality, we have many different currencies to the game. We have the silver, we have energy, we have the different shards uh, that are available. And now they introduce this as another currency to to justify either spending or you know just more time investment with that they should have maybe considered either multiplying the rewards having an additional layer of rewards right here where you would include either the void chart or an epic book or actually extending this to a higher amount let's say 2500 for you to give this as the final reward and keep the void chart in there this these are some of the small things that i would like to see change and hopefully if this video gets some traction maybe this goes to the right eyes and maybe something gets uh, recommended because again this is another example where they put the mortal soul stone and the mortal soul essence is here as a way for people to push and get these but remember the 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 smaller accounts out there that even the mid spending accounts will have almost a zero value for a mortal soul stone or an immortal soul essence why i'm saying this because these two have basically no value with the fewer amount of champions you get these will give you a, an essence right this can be random from one star to six stars and this will actually allow you to purchase basically a one star blessing after that the cost goes high uh, like crazy which is insane but let's say considering this, you get one soul stone for a champion, then you just have that sitting there in your soul collection until you actually summon the champion. It's even worse 
trying to get the RNG to get the champion. It's even worse having to look at the champion, but not have him, let's say like Tyron Exelmore right here, <laughs> or even Royal Huntsman. Any of these four, which I don't have on my account, they're just sitting there reminding me of, of my bad luck and, and how everything is. There's also the anger for people spending all their resources every single day doing these as a daily thing so iron fortress i am personally doing it by uh, i am in the lucky part of the of the, let's say the raid community where i'm also a raid creator and by making videos Pyram also compensates creators uh, with like gems every single week so i say i'll use those gems and energy to actually get these mortal soul stones and that will allow me to make more content but even with doing this every single day this is what i've uh, managed to save in almost a month of having this available so like 500 of these 500 of the gold ones 13,000 of these i haven't been purchasing these for a while i'm just letting it sit there and i'll be accumulating this until i decide either i'll make a video or something but that's why i have these high amounts this is not like something i get every single day and the same thing with the souls that I have right here. These are all either just luck or me doing the Hydra mostly and, and just just waiting to get a proper blessing for a champion that I'll actually uh, be thankful for. So lots of things to consider for Plyam. Getting into the closing part, the last three months of 2022, will we see another content update? I highly doubt it. Will we see some more quality of life changes, some changes to the tournaments? Again, highly doubt it. They never mention something like this, but we never know. Like the biggest change in terms of quality of life came to us as a surprise, which was the artifact upgrade, the instant artifact upgrade, which was something we were begging for for years, literally years. So who knows? Maybe they do something for tournaments and events that changes things up now that we have this new currency. Maybe they introduce, you know, better compensations, as I mentioned at the start, or maybe they do nothing and we go into 2023 hopeful that they change something in 2023 and they bring in the additions that we're saying uh, for the arenas and all that thanks guys for watching subscribe and i'll see you in the next one see ya